Okay, I would say happy Sunday morning, only it's after two o'clock. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there, or moms-to-be. We had a lot of stuff going on this morning, so I haven't vlogged until now, um, not the least of which is spending a little time with um, the family, our daughter, our grandson, my sister, all of that. We went out and had a really great lunch. I'm so full. <laughs> so full. Got a beautiful bouquet of roses. Um, one red rose from the restaurant where we ate at. The rest of them are from the children, which was really nice. And yeah, we are going to just sit here. It is blasting hot again outside today. And I don't think we're going to go anywhere or do much because it's too hot. So anyway, whatever steps I got in, I have a feeling I already got them in. Yeah, that's not a whole lot. So, oh, well, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Hey guys, happy Monday morning. It is Monday morning, May 15th. It is 10.30 a.m. And we are video editing. That's our primary focus of today, unless we get a call from the daughter that she needs help with the baby. Um, otherwise, that's our focus. So video one of I don't know how many is rendering right now. In between, I'll catch up on my soap opera. Exciting, I know. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, I think we have the last video edited and rendering. <sighs> I hate video editing, just FYI. It's not a fun thing to do for me, listening to myself blather on. <laughs> anyway, um, that would be why most of the time I film for the edit, so I don't have to sit and listen too much. I can just cut a few things out, FYI. Um, okay, guys, so I drafted a pattern for and made the first one of it's a cotton tank top it's not it's not stretchy cotton this is woven cotton and uh I think it looks pretty cute especially sort of half tucked into these patchwork jeans of mine of course you could untuck it um I think it's cuter either belted or fully tucked in or half tucked in um, but super cute, super comfortable and breathable because it's cotton. You could make it as a regular tank with the straps or you could uh, make it with a spaghetti strap. Um, I put a few pleats here in the front just to give it a little bit of shape, but yeah, pretty cute. I'm going to make a couple more of these. All right, I'll be back. So I made two more of these tank tops. This time I gathered the center front and the front and back and uh, yeah, super cute. I actually have my big giant overall tie-dye pant things on, which isn't what I would normally wear with this, but they are super cute. You could belt it, you could tuck it in, you could just leave it loose if you want. And it's cut so that it's loose enough for me to just put it on and off over my head without buttons or anything, even though it's a woven fabric. And I can show you because I have it on over my clothes. <laughs> But yeah, and I think the color is really cute. Plus the cotton fabrics were 40% off of Hobby Lobby. So each one of these only cost me about $3 or $4 to make. So gotta love that. All right, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It's just after 10 a.m. on Tuesday, May 16th. Yesterday, my great uncle Louis passed away and my condolences to his family. He will be greatly missed. Um, he was a great guy and sharp as attack until the very end and 98 years old. Just checking out some things. Anyway, so, you know, he had a good long life. Anyway, this morning, that's right, we're cutting into that old piece of silk this may not work out, it might work out, I don't know. But the mock-up, for the most part, looked okay. So I've got it here laid out on the fabric. And we're gonna start chopping. Yeah, aye, aye, aye. All right, I'm gonna put on a podcast, put an earbud in or music or something, and let's just get started.
Okay, you guys, the 40 plus year old piece of silk is now officially a garment. And I think I have enough left over to do some sort of little spigoty strapped silk tank top thing, which I will probably be doing, but not today. Want to see it? Okay, hang on. What do you think? I mean, she's pretty cute. It looks sort of like my version of a sleeveless shirt dress, which honestly was what I intended with the silk all along when I bought it five million years ago. Yes, it's silk. Yes, it's going to be a particularly picky fabric to wear and clean. But that being said, she's kind of cute. She's going to, like linen, it's going to always be wrinkly. So I'm just probably just going to go with the wrinkles, but cute. And I love the color. What do you think? Okay, mocking up a bag pattern that hopefully is not too big. I can cut out of the rest of that old couch fabric. I saw some vintage bags like this made out of leather. Um, they were medic bags from World War II and they are very popular with artists. I can see why. And it looks like this box and you would put straps on the back or loops for straps, and there's this lid. What do you think? I think I like it. I think in the next few days, this will be the sewing project I work on. I think anyway. Yes, I'm out of the house. You're not seeing things. <laughs> That made my husband chuckle. Um, we're headed out to get a few quick, quick steps in before we have dinner. I don't know what we're having for dinner exactly, but I'm not that hungry. Maybe a cup of bone broth? I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna go get some steps in. It took, us, took me a little bit to get the camera out because the little ones from next door were outside sharing with us information about their day so as they, always do. as they always do yeah anyway we're gonna go get some steps in if i can find some cool things to take pictures of i'll do that and we'll be back Good morning everybody it is 9 44 a.m wednesday may 17th i think yeah tomorrow's our wedding anniversary <sighs> anyway um I'm going to go out and run a few errands. <coughs> Make sure the little ones aren't behind me out in the road. <coughs> hey guys, it is 4.35 p.m. Thursday, May 18th. I should know the date because it's my wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary to Bob and myself. Um, next year, we'll be together 40 years. This year is our 32nd wedding anniversary. We were married in 1991. Anyway, um, yeah, so it was a good day. It started off pretty good. I went and ran a couple of errands and then went and babysat for a couple hours, which was really great. Well, my daughter and sister went and did a couple of things. So that was, that was, that was a good thing and a lot of fun. Um, anyway, now I'm just sitting up here in the art room. I have another sewing project, of course, that I want to start and some painting I want to do, but it's hot and it's late. And I think I'm just going to sit here for a bit and enjoy my space because, you know, nothing wrong with that, I don't think. All right, I'll be back. Yes, my hair is still wet. So I don't have as much time to work on this today as I thought I was going to because I got to go help the kids again in a little bit. Um, I may have enough to surge all the pieces, but I got the blanket coat cut out. I'm using Simplicity <clears throat> 8797. I have changed um, it a little bit. I'm Instead of po inseam pockets, I'm doing patchwork pockets. Um, I changed the shape of the collar and the front a little bit to accommodate the quilt and pillow um, shams that I had. And yeah, the quilt came with two pillow shams. So, you ready? How fun is that? So the collar is out of one of the pillow shams and then I cut everything to be um, 
using the edge of the bias tape that was already on the quilt. The only part that isn't going to have that is gonna be here on the collar. I'm gonna sew it so the seam is on the underside and then I think I will, this has the lining for the um, pillow sham on it. So I think I'm gonna use that to my advantage and use it to cover up the seam. And then I don't have to do any bias tape because I was thinking I was gonna have to bias tape the whole thing. Yeah, anyway, I can't wait for winter now so I can wear it. Well, I gotta finish making it first, but you know what I mean. All right, I'll be back. Okay, you guys, I gotta go help again at the daughter's house and my sister's on my way to come, on her way to come pick me up. It's a long story, won't get into it right now. Anyway, nothing bad, it's all good. Um, while I was waiting, I <laughs> the blanket coat's almost done. I mean, you know, it's a little bit on the large size, but I wanted it that way because I want to be able to wear it over, you know, sweaters and stuff. And so it needs to not fit too tightly. That was my take your supplements alarm. Do I want to put buttons on it? I don't know, maybe. Um, but for the moment, we're all good. And then I have to, I'll finish it when I get back. And then I have to take a look at the leftover fabric and sort out what I'm gonna keep and what's gonna go in the garbage bin. I'm gonna keep just the bigger pieces, the small, I'm not gonna keep all of it. Um, just the bigger pieces I could maybe make something out of in the future. So anyway, it's all good. All right. Because I'm gonna go, basically go sit and help out the, the kid's house. I have a water bottle. <laughs> And I packed a little bag with my mini iPad and some snacks in it because, you know, anyway, that's it for the minute. I'll be hey back. You guys, I have like one minute to check in for a flight for that family trip thing I told you we were doing this weekend. Not worried about telling you because by the time you see this, we'll be back. Anyway, I helped out at the kid's house today. Then I came home and I finished the blanket coat despite the fact that it's like 83 degrees outside. And this coat is very warm, I can tell you that right now. Here we go. So the coat is done. I put some nice deep big pockets on it. I do have a tie on it um, in case I want to tie it shut. I may at some point put buttons on it, put a couple buttons, but I want the right buttons. So, and I don't have like, I want a giant white button. So I don't have that. So we'll have to see. But anyway, I love it. All right, now I gotta check in, I'll hey be guys, back. yes, we're in a car again. This is not my car, this is the kid's car, and it took me a minute to figure out how to turn the radio off. Hit the button. Hit the button. There's so many buttons in this car. It doesn't even have a key. Anyway, don't get me started. We are headed towards the airport. We gotta run one or two errands on the way. We're very early, but that's okay. We'll just sit at the airport and have some coffee. Well, I'll have coffee, he'll have beer while we're waiting for our flight. Up here. Yeah, we're headed to California. As I alluded to earlier, we've got some family stuff going on, including a wedding. Our nephew is getting married and we need to check in on Mo Bob's mom. She's not doing well, I've already said. Send some good vibes out there for her. She's 94 years old, 94. Something like that, yeah. yeah. Oh. Yes, 94. Is that the, what do you call, dogwood? fuzz everywhere? Oh, um, could be. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's anyway. Time. It's that time of year, dear. Yeah. Anyway, so we've got the car loaded and we're ready to go. So, yeah. I'll take you with me where I can and my nephew's in a band. Bad Mother Nature. And I have um, spoken of them before. I think there's even a video here on YouTube with their permission that includes their music. Mm -hmm. Um... So this is going to be a band wedding. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. Um, it should be fun though. It should be a lot of fun. If I can, I'll film some stuff. So we'll see. I'll be back.
we're in a car again. <laughs> Always in a car. Always in a car. This time we're in the state of California. So um, we made it here safely, although the flight was delayed and very crowded. I don't think there was an empty seat in the plane. Um, we made it here and it's fine. So in the next week's vlog, you'll see little bits here and there of what I can film from the wedding and things like that. Um, we're gonna visit Bob's mom in the morning and the wedding is tomorrow, but that's for next week's vlog. We hope you guys are having fabulous adventures that I'm inspiring you to be yourself, to be creative and do what makes you happy. If it's traveling, cool. If it's making art, cool. Whatever it is, just do it. Anyway, questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. I'd appreciate it if you like, share, and subscribe. I do have a Patreon. I'm filming videos right now that are just for them. I've got one I need to edit. In fact, my sister, here's a hint, it's a sewing video. My sister, who hasn't sewn in a long time, is so excited about it. She's breaking out her sewing machine when she gets home, and she's asked me to send her the unedited footage and give her a copy of the pattern. So if you want to be in on that, you need to be a patron or supporter. So the link is down below. I also could use a new camera and stuff like that. Could use it, the money. So anyway, um, it supports the free content here over here too. So, you know, anyway, go out and have a great day. Have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye guys.